Hey guys, this is Bub again, back with another episode of Bub's Bushcraft. Uh, I apologize, I know it's been a minute since my last release of a video, it's been about a month actually. Uh, I hit a little bit of a technological snafu there, where I was without a working camera and no real internet access and whatnot, but I've got most of that worked out, so hopefully I'll be uh, releasing videos on a much more weekly, regular weekly basis. Um, today's video is going to be about water treatment and specifically the treatment of foul tasting water after you treat the water with uh, certain chemicals there's usually a really bad aftertaste and uh, it's not real pleasant many people don't like it and uh, this this video is inspired by a buddy of mine on bushcraft usa uh, forum uh, named bill crandall so thank you bill for inspiring me to do this video and hopefully this will be of a little uh, help to anyone out there. Today, uh, you see here, I got a few little trinkets and toys here, tools. Um, we of course got our, I don't know if, there we go, portable aqua, which is their uh, iodine tablets. There's the what it's made of. I don't know if you can read that. And uh, of course we've got the neutralizing tablets. Now, on the uh, active ingredient of these neutralizing tablets, you'll see it says ascorbic acid. I gotta tell you, it's really odd reading that in the viewer from there, everything's backwards. But, um, Ascorbic acid. That's what neutralizes the nasty aftertaste in the iodine tablets. And uh, it'll also work with your, just your regular over the counter, counter iodine drops. Uh, ascorbic acid. What is it? Well, it's also known by its common day name vitamin C. Or vitamin C, as our buddies across the pond call it. Um, Let's see, it is do 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 vitamin C ascorbic acid. This is 500 milligrams. So, the active ingredient in the potable aqua is merely 45 milligrams. Now, that should treat these right here treat one liter or one quart of water. Since this has 500 milligrams, it should definitely treat a quart of water as far as taste goes. Uh, I was looking for some pure ascorbic acid. They usually sell that in the canning section of your local supermarket, but apparently that's a seasonal item around here, and canning season is over apparently. So, we're going to try the vitamin C tablets instead of the uh, neutralizing tablets, and see how that works out for us. There is a, a couple of additives in the vitamin C tablets, mainly right here under other ingredients. I don't know if you can see that. Let it focus. There we go. There's a, a cell, cellulose, plant origin, vegetable steric acid, and less than 2% of carscomelios, silica, and vegetable magnesium sterate. Now, there's no guarantee I pronounced any of those correctly. Uh, so, if I did mispronounce them, feel free to correct me. Uh, I'm a southern guy, and we're pretty uh, notorious about mispronouncing things. So, I've got a couple of other things here. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing today is using very rudimentary utensils and tools. Um, this will be stuff that most anyone can be able to pick up at your local... Uh, mom and pop shop, your local uh, grocery store, something like that. About the only place you'll have, your only thing you'll have to get at a specialty place, and that's that'd be the potable aqua, the iodine tablets. Now, you, like I said, you can use the iodine drops that you would uh, find in your local uh, pharmacy section, but I don't have any iodine drops on me. I've got the potable aqua. It's pretty much the same thing, and we're going to be using that today. 
and you can find that in most sporting sections of your local big box stores. So, uh, as far as the creek we're going to be getting air less than palatable water from is Rock Creek and that's a beautiful little creek that runs right back here on the back side of my property. Uh, if you've ever wanted to visit it or see it, it, there is a section of the Cumberland Trail that runs right along Rock Creek and they even have a little camping area that's right off the creek. It's a very beautiful place. Uh, the Cumberland Trail, gorgeous, gorgeous trail. I encourage all of you if you have the time and they're able to get out there to it, uh, hike it, come visit it. it it's it's beautiful. I, I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm, I'm really blessed to live right on the creek. Um, unfortunately, it's not the purest water, of course. It's really hard to find pure water here in the United States. Uh, at the trailheads of the Rock Creek segment of the Cumberland Trail, both the upper, the lower, and the Bakewell sections are all labeled with uh, directions on water treatment on the billboards at the trailheads and um, they suggest that you filter boil and then chemically treat any drinking water so it's not an and or other it's a every single one uh, so it's definitely not the purest and uh, since I personally don't want Giardia uh, Salmonella Cryptosporidium or uh, any type of weird brain or liver cysts, we're going to pretty much be filtering, boiling, and chemically treating air water today because uh, since it is a taste test, I'm going to be taking this internally. Uh, I have drank water from the creek before, not straight of course, I've always treated it. Um, so we're basically going to be doing the same steps that uh, I would normally do if I was out on the trail. So, no fancy filters. We've just got our handy dandy handkerchief here and that's going to do nothing but sedimentary filtering. Then we're going to chemically treat. Since uh, this is kind of a backwoods science experiment, we are going to chemically treat both with the iodine tablets, which has a pretty decent purification rate. However, ow, common household bleach. This is, of course, the that brand, but you don't have to get that brand. You know, any brand will work. Clorox, generic. Get the generic, guys. Pardon the train. It's that time. Uh, it's the same stuff. It works just as well. The active ingredient is sodium hypochlorate, and this is in the amount of 6%. So... Sodium hypochlorite, active ingredient in common household bleach. You don't want to use the color safe bleach. Just normal, everyday, average household bleach. Now the thing about bleach is, it's completely useless as bleach until it's mixed with water. Once the water, it's mixed with the water, that's when the chemical reaction happens and the sodium hypochlorite is released into a gas form that we know as chlorine. And everyone knows, Chlorine is used in city drinking water for purification purposes. It's, uh, it's also a pretty hazardous gas, so you don't want to be huffing this stuff on a large scale. It's poisonous. It'll kill you. Uh, unfortunately, that's how many of our Jewish brethren were executed during World War II by Hitler. Uh, chlorine gas. So uh, we're going to be mixing the appropriate amount of chlorine in our water to purify it and that will of course leave a nasty chlorine taste afterwards. Now chlorine being a gas it will evaporate over time if it's left in an uncovered container. Now that could take anywhere from a couple hours to a day or so. So we're also going to be trying the flavor neutralizing effects of ascorbic acid on the bleach treated water. I've got a little eyedropper here. Uh, the bottle's empty. I cleaned it out. Basically, the only thing I'm going to be using is the dropper, and that's just so I can get the appropriate measurement of our household bleach into my drinking water. I have uh, aluminum stock pot. 
I know it should be probably be stainless steel, but my mask kit's aluminum, so this is pretty much what I'd be cooking with on the uh, trail. Not this very stock pot here, but uh, the same material. And this is one of the bigger ones I've got in the house that holds a gallon or more. So we're going to be using that. Collection jug. Old milk jug. Well, I'm sorry. Orange juice container. Anyhow, your normal plastic gallon jug. That's where we're going to collect our water. Right? So, yeah. I've also got an assortment of ball mason jars. Now, you can use Ziploc bags, whatever, when you're treating your water, your water bottle, wherever you'd normally use on the trail. I personally am using these because I've got them around the house. They're handy and um, they're clear. So, it will help in aiding to see the nifty little chemical reactions that's going on. Uh, also, they're made of glass, so they're chemically inert. All right. Well, that being said, let's grab our pipe and uh, take a hike down to the creek. All right, uh, we'll see you down there. Alright guys, we're down here at the beautiful Rock Creek and uh, we're going to grab us a gallon of water out of this thing and treat it and purify it. There we go. One gallon of less than palatable creek water. Let's head back to base camp and get this on the boil. Okay guys, I am still working on that one stick fire. So uh, we're going to use petroleum jelly cotton balls to get this fire going. It's been pretty wet the past couple of days and I just want a fire to boil some water, so yeah, we're going to use petroleum jelly cotton balls. All right, let's get this sucker going. There we go. Alright, we're going to let the fire catch a bit and we'll get back with you.